it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the ninth okay this is for around the ninth I just want to remind you guys that we're still in the eclipse energies you could you could say for the next six months okay so just keep that in mind there's gonna be a lot of changes in the next six months a lot of uh, massive changes put it that way so let's let's just like there's gonna be a lot of clearing out there's more that's what I'm hearing there's more there's more that's, there's more you need to tell them more tell them more tell them that there's more coming there's this isn't it this isn't it and I got chills down both my arms this isn't it we are removing the demons Whatever that means, I don't know. The chariot. So we have somebody here that is, is, uh, taking a journey this person is has a lot of willpower so this is somebody that is very very determined they are determined to go someplace they are on a mission okay this person is on a mission they're going someplace okay um, steering steering in another direction um, this person going somewhere and they are on a mission there's no stopping this person is not afraid has no fear getting ready to go on the road on the road so this person is on the road and they are they're moving fast somebody is moving really 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 fast very determined has some sort of vision this is an individual that has no fear, okay? They're they're on the road and they're moving really 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 fast. Nine of cups. Nine of cups. This is a uh, wish fulfillment. Moving towards wish fulfillment, towards happiness. Leaving something emotionally disappointing behind. So this is willpower, strength, courage faith it is this is uh, no fear whatsoever so somebody is definitely moving forward now nine of cups is about happiness you know this may have something to do with self-love because he's got one cup in his hand drinking from that cup It's definitely emotional too. This is there's a lot of emotion here with this nine of cups. Moving towards uh, emotional fulfillment, right? That's what somebody's moving towards. They are headed towards, you know, a place to a place of love. Okay, put it that way. That's the ace of cups in that person's hands. Somebody is headed towards. I mean, this is a woman. This is a man. And I don't. If you're in a same sex thing, well, you do whatever you got to do. But anyhow. This is somebody that is headed towards, you know, happiness. Because this is happiness. Prince of Swords Reverse. So that is the Knight of Swords. It happens to be reversed, but I'm going to just show it to you. This is very, very fast. Very fast. And in reverse, it's extremely fast. These, this is fast and this is fast. Somebody's moving very fast. They're looking for love, right? That Ace of Cups is looking for love, okay? They're looking for wish fulfillment. Now, it doesn't have to be love. It could be abundance, okay? Uh, somebody is... This person seems to be set. Very, very set. Uh, very comfortable where they at. So, we have another individual here that is headed towards this person that is very, very comfortable where they're at. This tells me you need to be careful, okay? This person's determined to win, determined to be successful, 
has no fear whatsoever, has their mind made up, and they are heading towards an individual or a situation that, you know, this person is set. This person is set. They look real good, very, very comfortable. Um, this person appears to have it all, but this person is also very arrogant. So be careful as to who you are headed towards because this person is definitely arrogant. And with the Knight of Swords reverse, we could be dealing with an individual that's also dangerous. Okay, this person could be dangerous. This person might be a know-it-all. This person may be very ignorant. They may blame everybody for everything. Very insincere. This person uh, could even have mental health problems. And, and things could get out of control very, very, very fast. So I do feel like we have an, an individual that has their mind made up that they are headed towards this individual that appears to have it all. He does. He, this person appears to have it all, but this is um, something that you need to be worried about, put it that way. It really is with the Knight of Swords reversed. Make sure that you're you're thinking clearly because there's some insincerity here. This person is very smug. Okay? Very smug. Definitely has a bit of arrogance about them. Could be dealing with a Cancer, could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Eight of Wands, there's messages going back and forth, sending messages. Somebody is sending messages, they're looking for success. They're thinking they're going to get success. They're very passionate, they're definitely very passionate about this, this um, opportunity. very excited about it this person is very very excited they they really think that they're headed into something good they do maybe they are don't look good this person is non-committal four of wands reverse the non-committal there's no commitment here um this is probably a messy situation this person could already be attached or something like that the four of wands reverse is messy okay um it is celebrate there's nothing to celebrate here there's no commitment here there's no happiness here we have an individual that is headed towards uh it's not a happy situation okay it's not but their mind is made up this is somebody who has their mind made up queen of pentacles reversed now the Queen of Pentacles reversed is somebody that is very stubborn and that's clear. I can see that somebody is very stubborn here. I can see that. So this is somebody that is very possessive, very stubborn, very um, set in their ways, uh, ungrounded, lacking reality, being unrealistic. Uh, somebody's being unrealistic here. They are talking to and messaging and texting with an individual that isn't looking for commitment. This person is not committal. They're not going to commit. They're not. This person is very set, very comfortable. And they're not, this this knight of swords, this person is very selfish. Okay, the knight of swords reversed. Very selfish, very much all about themselves. Very, very, very arrogant. So, you know, it's like, I'm going. I'm going to, I'm, I'm going. There's like, they, this person may invite them over may and be invited over you know or maybe not there they might not even be invited over this person's going either way it's like i'm going I'm, I'm going over to that person's house you know that's definitely could be the home headed to their house this is definitely could be the home somebody is headed to towards the home um this person is very possessive and jealous and uh unrealistic in some way but the, I'm wondering if this is another person looks like this person is is headed in they've got something to say they're sending messages somebody's sending messages I wonder if there's a third party situation here 
this one is is I'm not sure if she's naive or what three of swords oh she's gonna get her heart broken somebody's gonna get their heart broken and I don't know if it's a Taurus Virgo Capricorn but there's somebody's gonna this is heartbreaking somebody's somebody's gonna get their heart broken could I hopefully I mean there could be there's a cancer here this ain't good anyhow um somebody is gonna this is heartbroken this is this is This is insecure. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse is an individual that is very, very insecure. She's obviously been hurt in the past because it goes like this. And it feels like she's going to get her heart broken again. There's some sort of messages or texting or communication. could be even be an invite. This could be an invite. Somebody may be invited. They may be invited to an event or... To, the, to a home or something, they go and, you know, this Knight of Swords revert to an individual's house. Maybe they go for dinner and drinks or whatever. Uh, it could definitely, could be the case. I'm not sure what it is. Could be a get-together even, you know, some sort of party or something. And, you know, the, the Knight of Swords reverse is, an, is uh, this person's in no hurry. They're in no hurry for a commitment. Uh... They're clueless, they're rude, they're arrogant. Uh, and somebody could even, there could even be a fight with the Knight of Swords reversed. Okay? This could be a dangerous situation. It could be. Queen of Cups reversed. Oh my God. There is a third party situation here. There is. I'm pretty sure there is. And the Queen of Cups reverse. There could, it feels like there's there could be, you know, I don't know if somebody uh, gets caught. They get caught by another person, and there's, uh, uh, I mean, the Queen of Cups reversed is is disappointing. It's very very disappointing. This is somebody that is very clingy, very needy, and it could be this person that they're headed towards. We have a very clingy, needy individual that. Um, is very wishy-washy doesn't really know what they want maybe confused hypersensitive they may not have completely split up with this person six of pentacles now the six of pentacles is about giving it's about give and take. Somebody is going to be receiving an offer. They're going to be receiving something or a message, messages. They're going to be, or an invite or something. They're, or they could be getting something. Somebody is going to be given something. And it has to do with a third party situation. It really does. It's like it, this is being, whoever this person is, is being neglected by the one that doesn't love them anymore. Okay? They're being neglected. And this is like uh, needing an ego boost or something. We have somebody here that needs an ego boost. And that's why they're messaging. That's why they're messaging, okay? Because they need an ego boost. They're in some sort of commitment where they're not being loved. I'm telling you what, you need to be damn careful, okay? There's two sides here. And there's two, look at this, the Six of Pentacles. We got one queen over here and one queen over in here on this side. So we got, we got two, we definitely have a third party situation here. Okay, there's no doubt about it. There is. There's no doubt about it. Okay, we got the six of pentacles here. Okay, so we got we do. Okay, we got we. There is. There's 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 two people on one on each side. I mean, there is definitely one on each side. So there's 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 uh, an individual that has their mind made up. 
they're going. It's like, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I can win. This is an individual who thinks that they can win. This is somebody who is very determined, very proud, you know, fearless, you know, strong, whatever. Mastering emotions. They're communicating with this individual who is very arrogant. This person is dangerous. This is a dangerous situation. It is. This person does not have good intentions. They don't have any intention of getting in a commitment. This is this is the Ace of Wands right here. They're, they're looking for sex. Okay? They are. And they're looking for sex because they're battling. Here we have Seven Wands with one of these people. Okay? Or they're looking for some sort of boost. Okay? This person's going to get hurt with the Three of Swords. This person is going to get hurt because the one that they are in love with is probably this one. They're looking for an insecure individual as well. They are. This person is looking for somebody that is insecure. That's an easy, look at this, target. That's being shot at a target. Okay, it's an easy target. Somebody that is insecure and, and doesn't know their value. The queen, of, the queen of pentacles in reverse is a person that doesn't know their value. Okay, and it could be any sign. Okay, so this person has been hurt in the past and they don't know their value and they're about to get uh, poked again. Okay, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. This person will give you crumbs and they, that's it. They're just going to give crumbs. They're not emotionally available. They're not. So this person is not emotionally available. They're not. They're not emotionally available at all. And this is regrets, grieving, sadness. So I, I really feel like you need to be careful about wherever you're going because whoever you're headed towards, this is headed towards a non-committal individual that is giving crumbs because of insecurities. There's messages going back and forth with this person. They're not emotionally available. They appear to have it all. They probably have a nice home, you know, but they're very arrogant and uh, selfish, okay? Insincere. This is an insincere person, okay? Very insincere. This person loves themselves more than anybody else. And that, you know, that's how it's supposed to be anyway, but I'm just saying this is extreme. Yeah, it doesn't lead to a relationship. It doesn't lead to a union. Okay? It's two of cups reversed. There's this is this is uh whoever this person is 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 detached from somebody else that uh hasn't been reciprocating and they need reciprocation okay and that's why they're communicating with you they need some sort of boost okay all right so what i have to say is that this doesn't lead to a partnership it doesn't lead to a union okay there's also i'm going to change this up i just heard there could be a destin there could be a destination change there could be a split. There could be a separation. There could be a separation. Somebody is with a very arrogant individual who abuses them, bullies them, blames everything on them. Okay? This could be a separation from this arrogant individual who uh, has hurt them. This is like mental abuse. Okay? Mentally abuse them. This person could be moving. I'm moving. They're getting out. So this is a different story for somebody. We could be dealing with a Queen of Pentacles, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Oh, you know, I want to say Aries, Leo, Sagittarius as well because of the red hair. You know what I mean? I've been wanting to say that, so I don't, I don't know. Um, but we also have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here as well. We have some sort of heartbreak and sadness. Okay, somebody's moving. Somebody is moving as well. This is for another group of people. 
This is moving away. This party is over. The honeymoon is over. The commitment is over. This is moving out of the home, going someplace else, giving money to somebody else for a new home. That could that's happening. Somebody and it, it could happen very suddenly. Somebody could receive a message that uh, they've been left behind. You know what I mean? I'm moving. You know, or I moved. I moved out. Somebody's definitely moving because of that, uh, and they're moving fast. It's like it happens all of a sudden, maybe even before somebody gets home. You know, it's like before somebody gets home. This is an exchange of money, perhaps. There could be a separation between a water sign and an earth sign, if that part is for you. There's definitely a separation here. This is absolutely heartbreaking, okay? Somebody is headed towards success, okay, because this is success. But the only way that they can head towards success is if, is if they get in the driver's seat and they go. They go. They take the lead. They take the, they, they be the boss. They decide to be the boss. They decide to go. Okay, but there is something to do with an, an arrogant individual. This could go, we could go all day with just these cards. Okay, be careful. And maybe this, the story that I ter told first is what led this person into the partnership in the beginning. This arrogant individual was looking for a boost. Okay, they were looking for a boost. Somebody that didn't know their value and worth came in really fast. This person was vulnerable. This person uh, probably didn't have a lot of money. This one does. So they saw it as an opportunity. They saw it as an opportunity for, you know, to be taken care of, okay, in some sort of way. Now there's going to be a separation because the two of cups that reversed and the five of cups that we saw, this is a split. It is a split, and it is deep sadness. It is. It's, it's a very sad. There could definitely be some tears. It could be very, very emotional. Um, but this person is mastering their emotions, and they are headed out anyway. They, they. It's like you know what? I'm taking the reins. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. Okay. So, um, but I, this is the decision has been made. So either somebody is starting this process where they are headed towards an arrogant individual that has no intention of long-term commitment, or there's somebody that did that already and they are headed out. They are headed out very, very fast. This is fast forward movement. So things are going to be moving forward very, 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 very fast. Let me just go down this road for a second. We also have an individual that is messaging an, another individual that um, is hurting. Okay, this person is in pain. This person doesn't know their value. This person is very insecure. They are going to be giving this person something. What are they going to be giving this person? Um, a gift of some sort. Four of swords. Oh my God. Uh, giving this person, this is, uh, well, you got three swords here and one sword on his lap. This is some sort of truth. Giving them, this person is thinking, they're thinking about, uh, communicating with them. They're thinking about giving them the power. They're thinking about, um, Well, this is typically taking a break of some sort. What are they going to be giving them? This person had been thinking about them a lot. Thinking, 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 thinking about uh, taking a new approach. Six of Swords. Taking them for a ride. Taking them someplace. Taking them to a better place. Six of Swords is taking them. Somebody is going to be going someplace for sure. Going for a boat ride. Going, thinking about the boat ride. Thinking about taking them for a boat ride. Something about a boat ride. Now, this Queen of Pentacles in reversed is uh, very insecure. This person is thinking about, and this is jealousy. The Queen of Pentacles, thinking about everything, thinking about an ending, uh, thinking about the possessiveness, thinking about this person, thinking about uh, going someplace. What is this person giving them? 
an opportunity of some sort because this is giving them a new opportunity. This could be somebody from the past or something like that. Now this is moving, moving to a better place. Somebody is moving to a better place for sure. Five of Swords reverse. There could be an apology that is coming. Nothing left to prove. Just want to be happy. Somebody is is wanting to uh, stop fighting. Something like that. Hmm. This is giving. Reciprocation. Somebody is coming in really, really fast. This person has been thinking. They're going to give something to somebody that they hurt. It could be money. It could be money. With that six of pentacles. This is letting go of ego. The five of swords reversed. We have an individual that may be deciding to let go of their ego. You know? This is, this is a peace peace a peace offering of some sort it is this is moving towards peace and this is peace you know peace <laughs> maybe giving somebody a peace <laughs> sorry sorry but i was going down the other way but that's what i heard uh all at the same time but whatever it is what it is right anyhow um yeah so uh be prepared to receive could be an apology it could be an apology from somebody. I mean, this, but we've given like three stories here, so you pick yours. Good luck. 